Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is David Junior. I'm a Kenyan content creator. At the same time, I'm an accounting student in the university here in Kenya, Africa. So on today's video, I want to show you a typical Kenyan food, you know. It's lunchtime here and also I'm accompanied with my sister D Mwango. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So my name is D Mwango from Kenya here in Africa and I'm glad to be back home after a very 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 long time. And be sure to subscribe to my brother's YouTube channel. Let's get him to 50k subscribers. So guys, I'm really excited because you guys you all know like being away from home over one year, six months, mm -hmm. is not a joke. I had really missed our Kenyan food, and I'm just so excited because today is my second day here at home, and we're having oh. lunch with my brother. Mm -hmm. So we're basically having ugali right here, and uh, some veg, kumawiki, and spinach all mixed together with some local chicken. At least I'm having a break from fast food, you know, so I'm really, 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 really happy. And uh, let's dig in. I don't want to waste any time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, let's do it, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, time to dig in. I want to use my hands, mm -hmm. and I love my nails. Well made. <laughs> Shout out to Mali, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow, hey, Dimango trying Ugali after one year, six months. Hey, you guys, so this is how we eat it. Mm -hmm. mm. Then you do this, you get a piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, which one should I get? Okay, <laughs> let me get this. Okay. Mm. Nice. Mm. Mango train so hard. Mm. <laughs> How does it taste? So good. So good. Mm -hmm. You miss this kind of food so much. Mm -hmm. Wow! Mm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow, ugali! Ugali is the staple food that we have here in Kenya. Like we eat it every single day. You know? <laughs> yeah. Dim Wango after one year six months. Hmm? Hmm. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> wow guys. Kenyan food. Actually you should try this kind of food. Mm -hmm. I was telling my sister when she goes back to the Philippines, she en she ensures she carries some flour. <laughs> For Gary. Wow. Yeah, I can see you are regaining your weight. <laughs> I'd missed this uh -huh. so much. Wow. Yeah. guys finally we done eating the food it was delicious and amazing let me get to know what my sister thinks about it mm, the food was yummy delicious mm -hmm. i had really missed uh, home food you mm -hmm. guys know and at least i'm having a break from eating fast foods because mm -hmm. now when it comes to the chicken mm -hmm. i'm eating local chicken which is the best mm -hmm. so yeah i give them a nine out of ten <laughs> <laughs> and how much does it go for? 12 US dollars. 12 US dollars. For two of us. Two of us. And we are full guys. You can imagine how life is here in Africa. What about in the Philippines? The same amount of food. Number one, it's not easy for you even to get the local chicken. 
Mm -hmm. They have the broilers, that's mm -hmm. what is really easily available. Mm -hmm. But again, life in the Philippines is expensive compared to Kenyan life. Mm -hmm. So maybe for that now it's double price, you know? Wow, double yeah. price. And of course you cannot find Ugali in the Philippines, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Even in yeah. big hotel. I know, they don't know what Ugali is. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to Rome, you do what Romans do. Mm -hmm. Pure rice. Yeah, pure rice. <laughs> <laughs> So you should come and settle in Kenya then. Ah. Mm. <laughs> of course I'm a Kenyan, so how do I settle in Kenya? <laughs> <laughs> Philippines is my second home. My second home? Why do you say that? Because you guys you all know I love the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And now I have a Philippines family over there, so mm -hmm. yeah. Guys, for me it feels so bad like my sister she'll be leaving Kenya. Most of her days should be in the Philippines, so that's so sad for Why? me. Why? I don't know how life wanna be, but let's see how it will go. <laughs> my brother is just being dramatic. <laughs> no, I'm just speaking my mind, guys. Imagine, like, it's all because of love. Anyway, it is what it is. So guys, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for the love and support. I really appreciate. Yeah, and if it is your very first time on this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. I'm on the road to 50k subscribers, guys. I feel like it is a dream, man, because I started last year and God has been great. And yeah, I feel so blessed. Yeah, final words, Nene. Nene. <laughs> So guys, he calls me Nene. Nene is my nickname. <laughs> I don't know what it means because it's him who... I don't know how he came along with that name. <laughs> Where did you get that name from? <laughs> A story for another day. <laughs> so he calls me Nene and I call him Nene. So it's more of our nickname when I'm back in Kenya. So my mom calls me Mana. Mana to me, mom. And David is called Mise. <laughs> So I really have so many nicknames when we are at home, uh -huh. you know, like I have so many names. Yeah, Nene, sure. oh. Mana, my mom calls me that, my dad calls me sister, you know. <laughs> but I know, I know why he calls you sister. Why? Because his sister is called Mwango. Yeah, my mm -hmm. dad's sister who died long mm -hmm. ago, so yeah. So my dad calls me sister. Yeah. Yeah, my mom calls me Mana. Mana to mean mom. Soon we'll be meeting her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to go home and see my mama. You want to surprise her at school, but yeah. I hope she doesn't watch this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll keep it after Locked. we... Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Anyway, guys, thank mm -hmm. you so much for the love and support. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, let us get to know what you think about today's video. Mm -hmm. From us, it's all about love. Bye, guys. Bye, take care. Mm -hmm.